YouTube. It's been about six months since I started the mealworm project, and I thought I'd give you an update. As far as feeding the mealworms, we found, because of our humid climate, that leafy greens work best for us. Uh, most I know most people tr use potato slices or carrot slices, stuff like that. We've had mold problems with them, and the leafy greens seem to be providing all the, the moisture to the bugs need and no problem the only issue is we have to change it out more often uh, every other day or every day depending on how fast they go through it of the hundred mealworms i started with around 75 percent of them uh have grown to beetles the last of them becoming beetles about two months ago but we haven't had any baby worms produced yet I mean, we've tried everything short of candlelight and Barry White music. But, I've heard people I see the scurrying from the light here. We keep them in a dark cabinet, so it's not an issue of course. It's like too much light, but not enough food or moisture. And I'm getting concerned because once they turn become beetles, they only have a life expectancy of around four months, and I'm already losing beetles like this one right here. This one passed away. I've done some research on it and I found that some places do treat their mealworms with pesticides to have them be, remain in the mealworm state longer and get, you know, they become larger. But it also, it also turns them infertile. So the ones I've gotten here might have been treated with a pesticide. I mean, I'm not saying what pet store I got it from, but they have the word pet in their name. So, we're gonna keep up, see, maybe, maybe there'll be some new, ha new worms hatch out soon, maybe not. Once these are gone, I'll probably get a try another set from a different supplier, an actual mealworm breeder supplier. I've seen some on I've seen plenty of them online. Amazon has several of them. So I'll probably try with that. But anyway, for those of you that was interested, here's the update. Thanks for watching.